Welcome back everyone. It is Sunday, November 20th right now. I'm just kind of walking around outside here and uh, haven't done an update on the uh, Baron Brug uh, RPR uh, ryegrass uh, from a while ago. I haven't actually done that for a bit. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here at the end of Georgia or at the end of November in Georgia. So we're going to start here. This is warm season grass right now. This is uh, centipede grass. I put everybody knows about uh, that one if they've been watching my videos anyway. So I'm like, oh, so it's where centipede grass, where centipede grass. There might be a little green in there somewhere. There's a dog. A little bit of green over there. I have no idea where could the barren brook. Oh, there it is. <laughs> about as blatant as it can be. Uh, so this is the uh, barren brook, that, uh, the cool season regenerative perennial ryegrass. Like I said, November 20th, it's still growing just like normal. Um, and it's putting on, it's going to make a nice, decent root structure this year. Uh, so that way, by the time it hits next year, uh, August, you know, July, August next year, it should have enough roots to be able to survive. I'll have to water it a little bit more. But thankfully, even during the summer, it's going to be in the shade of this tree, mostly. So it should be all right. Somebody shooting right next door. <laughs> uh, but you can see, so obviously you can see easily where exactly I planted it. It's all in there. This is all centipede grass. This is warm season grass. It's there's like a few little green patches to it but for the most part it's all dormant but this is the barren brug over there uh regenerative perennial ryegrass and it's growing just fine some of it and you can see where my line is this is again this is all centipede centipede because this gets plenty of sun and it's spreading but it didn't quite get this filled in this year it got most of it like there was this wasn't uh continuous here last year or at the beginning of this year you can see it all grew in this year all the way through there there's a couple low patches or uh, thin patches, but for the most part, just right up there. And, but up in here, this is all barren brug too. You can see I have some leaves I need to go ahead and chop up. I don't actually, uh, I don't take them out and bag them or anything like that. I just mulch them, mulch them and that's it. But it's just a little bit thin, but it's growing in nicely. This whole chunk right in through here, nice green color, a few thin spots, but for the most part, it's nice and thick in there. So it'll be absolutely just fine. I don't know if it's gonna make it all winter long as green or if it will actually go back to dormancy um, for maybe a month or two months this year because, I mean, we get above freezing every single day. On the coldest month, it might get down freezing at night for, oh, I don't know, a few hours. So I have no idea if this is gonna stay green this year or if it is gonna go dormant, no idea. So, but it's kind of funny. You can see the difference there. <laughs> There's a nice line right here, so. But that should be good. I just wanted to do a quick update real quick. And it's a shorter video and I just wanted to, I keep forgetting to do that, but I wanted to do that as an update. And I'm still having to mow it all the time too. So it's not like it's slowed down at all. Um, you know, from the mowing department, we've actually been getting rain. It looks like I need to put fertilizer in it. However, if I don't know if it's gonna survive or not, I, you know, or I don't know if it's gonna go dormant or not during the winter. I don't wanna put a bunch of fertilizer on it, cause it to really grow and then it freezes cause that'll really damage it, really hurt it. So, so I'm just gonna leave it alone and then I'll start fertilizing it uh, next year. Probably, it's probably, if it does go dormant, it's gonna start greening up at beginning of March or even February, depends on the year. So we're gonna call that, that's it for today. I'm working on some other things, I have some uh, different ideas coming along, uh, but that's the Baron Brug update for today, November 20th. It's the weekend before Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody has a good week and a good Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time.